everybody. Sherry Leopold here. I am really delighted to share my next guest with you. Have you ever looked at a woman and she has this most incredible jewelry on and you think, where did you get that? This next lady is going to be that person that the somebody's going to be saying, oh, I got it from Kenna at Terrador Jewelry. So I'm going to introduce you to Kenna McCall. Thank you, Kenna, for being here today. I'm just thrilled to be able to share your beautiful work with the world. Oh, well, thank you for having me, Sherry. I'm thrilled so to be here. I, I want to start off with having you tell us a little bit about who is Kenna McCall, because this is the the internal seed to all of what Terador Jewelry is. So share with us a little bit about who Kenna is. Well, I used to be a social worker and a marriage and family therapist for many, many years. And uh, so serving other people. And I started a hobby of uh, rock collecting and going out with uh, some prospector types and hunting rocks and learning how to cut them into gemstones. And uh, then the logical next step was learning metal smithing and silver smithing. And it was a hobby. And then I had an opportunity to retire early. And so I took it and I was doing my, my creative work full time and then it became a business. And so I, now I, I design one of a kind uh, art jewelry and they're, they're artistically styled and each uh, design is a uh, representative of either something that the customer wants or it's specific to the gemstone. I think one of the things that's most extraordinary about your designs, uh, Kenna, is that, as you said, each one is individual, but each one has a backstory to it, yes. right? Because you know exactly where those precious gems and things come from, Right. Uh, and the stones in them, because many times you've prospected them and yeah. went and got them yourself, which I think yeah. is such a cool part of the story behind each piece. I know you have a beautiful one on that you have that you're wearing, but I want to I want you to kind of tell us uh, what is it that goes into the design? Because I know that each one is individual, right? There's not another one. If somebody looks at one and they say, oh, I love that. I want that. It's not going to come out the same if you try to even replicate it similar because there is such a unique quality to each piece. Can you share with us a little bit about that process of how the piece comes to be? Yeah, it's um, part of it is about the stone and the story of, of the stone, how, where, where I got it from, whether I dug it or or whether I picked it up out of a river or on a beach or that took a sledgehammer to on the side of the road, <laughs> that kind of thing. So the the gemstone itself kind of speaks to me about either it has a particular pattern to it or a, colors that that evoke some sort of um, meaning or, or something I want to highlight because it's just so beautiful. I, I often call these stones uh, nature's paintings because it's it, it always awes me that nature can produce such beautiful things in, under our feet. And sometimes we don't even notice them, you know. Absolutely. So I kind of feel like it's my job to to bring out the best part of that stone and offer it to the world kind of thing that to say, look what we have here and we don't even know it kind of thing. And, and, uh, and there's something about, you know, as children, we collect stones and we're attracted to shiny objects and things. And we still are as adults, but we don't, we've, you know, we don't sort of, uh, collect rocks off the road the way children do, but we collect jewelry. And I find that people uh, really respond to the gemstones. Um, I I do have, you know, local gemstones that I've collected myself or when I've gone on holidays, but I also specialize in rare stones. Um, and they're all collected from people I know personally and trust. So they're all ethically sourced and from all over the world. 
And some of them you will never see uh, because there's so few of them. And the story behind the how these stones were formed is just fascinating. You know, it's a petrified rainforest from millions of years ago or something like this. And and so I, I like to uh, not only bring these very unique stones to for everybody to enjoy, but also to to tell them the backstory exactly. I, I think that's that's such an important part of what you're talking about in Terra Dor jewelry, because not only it's one thing to say it's just one of a kind. I mean, of course, it's one of a kind, but it really has a very unique story to each piece based on the history of the gemstone or right. source, whatever the, the stone is in it. But also, you know, then you add the layer on top of who it was sourced from, the connection with them, and then also your feeling and your process, yeah. right, of turning this unique piece of gemstone or stone into the actual piece because there's there's multiple stories along the way, okay. right? It, it's so I, I just I love the whole process. Of, of what you're doing. I think it's, it's so incredibly unique. Uh, and also that you took like a hobby type thing that you really love doing and if, are turning it into something that is truly a keepsake for another person, right? You may right. have sledgehammered it on the side of the road, <laughs> which I know that must be an actual story, yes. <laughs> but uh, into something that somebody cherishes for a lifetime. And I think that is just an extraordinary piece to Kenna's story at Terrador right. Jewelry. So, you know what, when, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about that uniqueness but I also want to talk a little bit about you have a passion for creating that signature piece that perhaps somebody that you love or one of your sweethearts. I'm gonna we're gonna have Kenna tell us about how that sweetheart's name can actually be attached to one of those signature pieces. So we'll be back right after this message. And we are back with Kenna McCall from Terrador Jewelry. And before the break, we were talking about these amazing stories behind these signature pieces. So let's talk a little bit about what that signature piece means, Kenna, because I, I know every every piece has a story. But but tell me what it means to get the title of being a signature piece. Right. Well, we, we're a society that likes to commemorate uh, milestones and, um, and we also want to leave a legacy. And so the signature line allows the customer to tell me what it is that they would like a piece of jewelry to mean to them, whether it's to pass on to their girls or whether it is because they they achieve something fabulous in their professional life, whatever it is. Or it could also be the death of a mother or father or something like that. So a lot of people want to have these sort of commemorations. And, and what better way than in a beautiful piece of jewelry that they can wear and pass down? So they tell me what it is that they would like to, what meaning they would like to ascribe to the jewelry. And so then we work together together. To I help them uh, choose the stone. It might have a special me. Oh, my mother loved rubies, or my mother, you know, uh, loved amethyst. So that was her birthstone, something like that. And then I get them to tell me the story of what it is that they want to uh, have this this piece mean. And so they tell me the story of their mother, whatever, and because I was a therapist, I, I, I kind of can pick things out that are really meaningful from these stories. And then I will propose a design. And then when we agree on the design, we also um, look at what we might name this piece, um, whether it's after someone or 
all different, uh, any possibility. So after, when the piece is made, um, I pr also provide a certificate of authentication kind of thing, but it's also a, a certificate that they can use with the provenance of the piece if it gets passed on. So it says what the stone is, where it came from, what the design means, who who created it, the customer and myself, and uh, the date and everything else. So that that can go along with the piece. I love that because that is just, that's so heart centered. And yes. I, you know, I know that each piece is individual, individualized for the person, but each piece is an individualized uh, part of you as well mm -hmm. as the creator. And I love that you are, are creating that relationship with your customer to really highlight the things that are important to, mm -hmm. to signify the importance of the piece, right? I just, that's that little touch of that card and the story of the piece, I think is just an incredible touch. So I really salute you for really connecting with your customer and, and, and really producing a lifelong legacy piece of jewelry that gets to pass on with the story, which is often forgotten yes. or, you know, as it gets a certain ways down the road. I think that's, that's a really incredible piece to offer to that and, and really to marry that passion that you had for helping people in the therapy world, really to the jewelry and I guess infiltrating the piece with, you know, the piece, P-E-A-C-E, -E, right? Yeah, that, exactly. that, that comes into it in the acknowledgement with the piece. I just, I'm, I'm just so in love with the whole concept. So, and I think how, how incredible that you could honor someone by naming it after them or naming it after a place that maybe you had a special memory with them or whatever, and that you take the time um, to have that conversation with them so that it's equally as meaningful for them. So I want to ask you a little bit about your process. So uh, because you, you know, you're doing this and you're gathering a lot of information from your potential client, it all comes back then to you for the creative process. What does this fulfill for you when you are executing this piece for somebody? Well, for me, it's it's not about selling jewelry. It, it's about uh, creating a piece of artwork that has meaning and that will be cherished and treasured by the person who will be wearing it or owning it. And so for me, that's where I get the personal satisfaction. I mean, of course, it's a, it's wonderful to be able to take a, a, a rock out of the ground or out of a river covered in slime and then produce this beautiful piece of, of jewelry from it. Um, that's very rewarding in itself. But then to actually see someone wearing it and loving it and telling me all about what the response of other people have been to, you know, the feedback they're getting. And, and a lot of people say, Oh, I, I've never worn jewelry before, but I always wear this piece because I just, I love it so much. And I get so much positive uh, feedback and, and a lot of professional women like to wear that kind of jewelry because it's so unique that it encourages pe others to ask questions. And then all of a sudden there's a conversation starting and there's a relationship building there around this piece of jewelry. So I love that. And it just opens up conversation, right? So I'm curious um, with the jewelry that you make, what's the most common type of piece? Because I know that you have the ability, you can make rings, you can make bracelet or necklace what's the most common piece that that people when they're choosing a signature piece that they're looking for well i think pendants are uh, the most common and the reason there's a number of reasons for that one if they're going to pass it on then they don't have to worry about it fitting and things and um it's easy to wear it's not like a bracelet that can become annoying or, and not everybody likes big rings like me you know? so it's it's something that's sort of more um uh generally uh appreciated 
and wearable. It's so, sort of transferable, I guess, is maybe a word that pops right. in for me. The other part of it is that some of these stones that I use, particularly the rare and the most beautiful ones, are um, soft and they don't take a lot of hardware that rings and bracelets take. Mm -hmm. So earrings and pendants are much better application for those stones. And um, so that it just and creatively, there's a lot more room for creativity with a pendant. Um, just uh, just the nature of it, you can, um, th th you know, you can add a lot to it or keep it simple. There's just so many different uh, styles that you can work with and um, and ideas, whereas you're restricted more so with other pieces. That is so cool, Kenna. I, I love your process for how this all works. If somebody says, you know what, I need to talk with Kenna because I would really love to honor my wife or my mom or whoever. Um, I really want to talk to her about creating something. What's the process that somebody is going to go through for that so they can have that initial conversation with you? Well, they can go to the website. It's uh, terrador.com. And terrador means love the earth. So it's kind of easy to remember. Um, there's a contact um, point on the, the website. There's also my email, which is terradorjewelry uh, at gmail.com. Um, and I'm on every social media, <laughs> Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, all of those, and LinkedIn and Align, all those kind of things. So I mean, it's pretty easy to find if you Google Terador or even Google uh, Kenna, you'll, you'll find me. There's not a lot of Kennas who do jewelry out there in the world. <laughs> and there's only one of a kind Kenna McCall, and that well, is you with making the one of a kind jewelry. So there you it. go. That should only be the one you can find. So I want to actually encourage people to visit terrador.com uh, and see what Kenna has available. I also want to take this moment in time to remind you that all her pieces are a one of a kind. And so if you see something and you love it, you should push purchase because the next time you go back, it might not be there. And they are one of a kind. So while something might be a similar stone, it will not be the same because that is her signature is that everything is a one of a kind. So if you see it, buy it <laughs> because it may not be there the next time you get there. So I really want to thank you so much, uh, Kenna, for being here. I think what you're doing is extraordinary. I love that this is really in my lane of legacy building, because that's really what this is. This is legacy jewelry. And it's it's jewelry that isn't just a simple piece of jewelry. No. It's jewelry that has a story, that has a creation story, that has thought thoughtfulness behind it. And you know what? I want our viewers to really think about who is it that I can honor with a piece this extraordinary by the one and only Kenna McCall of Terrador Jewelry. Thank you so much, Kenna. Thank you so much, Cherry. It's been a pleasure.